SkipTrace has features for creating and editing traces manually. Click the Route Mode button to create traces. Also, to switch layers, you can use the hotkeys Shift plus the layer number on the stack. To create a new trace, left-click on the first point and draw a line to the second point. It's also possible to zoom in and out on the design area in Route Mode with the mouse wheel. When a new trace is going outside of the design area, Dip Trace will automatically pan and extend the visible workspace. When the trace should switch a layer, you can right-click on the point where you want to switch to another layer and select the layer from the submenu. Also, the hotkeys 0 through 9, T, or B can be used to do it quickly. At the same time, new vias will automatically be generated. You can also pan the design area with the right mouse button. When you're creating a new trace, there are a few route modes that can be changed from the submenu or with the M hotkey. By default, trace segments are generated on the miter at 90 and 45 degrees relative to previous segments, but you can select free angle or arc modes. Also notice previous trace points remain unfixed until you click on the next point, and so on. If you select a segment of an existing trace, Dip Trace will automatically switch to Edit Trace Mode. In this mode, it's possible to move a line, switch a line, trace, or whole net to another layer, or change the trace width. If a line is switched on another layer, vias on both sides of the line will be generated if they're necessary. Also, if the vias aren't necessary, they'll be removed. Notice that line width can be changed not only for the whole trace, but for selected segments.